Now at noon, terrifying moments for a family when a fire broke out inside their apartment. Extensive damage was done, but fortunately the family of six, including four children, made it out safely. CBS 4's Ted Scout is live outside that home with the latest. Ted? Yeah, Francis, actually, we're inside very close to where that fire started. It was right back here in the kitchen area. Uh, that's where they saw most of the damage. This is located at Northwest 26th Street near 24th Avenue in Alapata. And as you said, it left a family without a home. A burned out apartment in Alapata. This is what's left behind after a kitchen fire ripped through Jessica Puerto's apartment about 6.45 in the morning. Yo estaba cocinando cuando... Jessica said she was cooking when suddenly the kitchen caught on fire. That's when she sprang into action, yelling for help to get her family of six out of the burning building and to safety. Estaba ahí levantándose el humo. The smoke began to rise, she said, and then it turned black. She ran and got her youngest child. A neighbor helped get the other three who were sleeping. When our units arrived on the scene, they saw heavy smoke and flames showing from the second floor, and they immediately made access into the apartment to begin to extinguish the fire. As that was going on, neighbor Jose Martinez's apartment was filling with smoke. Mucho humo, mucho humo por todos lados. He said with so much smoke, he went out onto his balcony but got trapped. Me bajaron por la calera. The fire department helped him down. Immediately, our crew from Engine 6 extended a ladder. They made their way upstairs into the apartment, making sure there was no other victims, and they assisted this man down to safety. Toda mi familia está bien, gracias a Dios. Jessica is grateful that she, her husband, and four children are all okay, but wondering how they're going to make it after this devastating fire. So what's happening right now is the family is getting immediate help from the American Red Cross. Meanwhile, the fire department continues to investigate. Live in Alapata, Ted Scouton, CBS4 News.